Well, um, I'm speaking on behalf of the World Organization for Animal Health, the OIE, and for us animal welfare is the discipline um, for determining uh, the appropriate well-being of animals, um, particularly during the process of animal production. I think in general, when talking about animal welfare and food production, um, we all talk about the concept of from farm to fork. Uh, from a, a food safety and a food quality point of view, while we recognize that animal welfare uh, will stop at the time of slaughter, um, the quality of the food and the, the, the food safety aspects will be uh, imprinted during the time of production, so it does affect the farm to fork concept. The role of the OIE is to establish science-based recommendations guidelines, international standards, for countries to adhere to, um, to obtain better results and to make sure that the animals uh, are treated properly. A group of experts is convened to develop standards in a specific area. Um, this is translated into code text, into international standard text, and is circulated for member comments. And the purpose is to make sure that the standards are general enough that are applicable to different production systems, while at the same time they require the basic elements of good welfare so that they're not just soft words. And in the process of commenting, we see the, the appearance of specific recommendations by members that this has to apply to the pastoral system, that this has to apply to the intensive system of production. So little by little, we find the language through the addressing the comments from countries to make sure that it fits uh, the, the principles of animal welfare are applicable to the different production systems. We started with four classical elements where we thought the greatest number of animals would be benefited by improving the welfare. And it dealt with transport, meaning terrestrial transport, aerial transport, and sea transport. And then we went into a next step, which is slaughter. Um, the moment, uh, the, the, the different methods animals are killed worldwide varies. And the fourth group of standards had to do with killing for disease control, incursions of emergency, like we heard bird flu in the, in the recent past. How do you go and destroy rapidly large number of animals in a humane way and at the same time protect the health of humans that are involved in the process? So those standards were developed, all of them have been adopted uh, by full consensus of the members. Most of the OIE uh, standards, guidelines, and recommendations are very much related to trade, while um, the animal welfare component is not directly linked to the obligations under the sanitary, phytosanitary agreement of the World Trade Organization. They are intricately linked to the health of animals. So the OIE, uh, as a result of the four strategic plan, took um, the job of developing these recommendations on animal welfare. And um, therefore, while they're not legally bound by the obligations of the World Trade Organization Agreement, they will become more and more informed, I think, uh, as a result of um, customer demands, as a result of consumer demands that we are seeing, um, requesting more information on how these animals were raised uh, that produce the food that we consume. On consumer demands, uh, on eggs, whether they're free-range chickens or not, on, on animals that have been raised under certain conditions. Um, but it's, it, it has not become a serious problem, and the role of the OIE is to develop guidelines that are science-based and that are applicable worldwide so that they don't become uh, a trade impediment for, uh, due to differences of production from one part of the world to another. By agreements between countries that are identifying the requirements in, in the imports, and um, it, it's a lot easier when, when these countries are um, forced to apply the discipline of utilizing these bilateral agreements on the basis of international standards. most often not an issue of payment, an issue of cost. Uh, it has been shown many times that when animals 
are maintained under the proper conditions, the lighting, the, the, the behavioral freedom, um, they will produce better. It is therefore very important for the OIE to base these standards on scientific information that has linked um, the well-being of the animal with performance and with the quality of the food they produce.